Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about the patterns, feature patterns that we have in SolidWorks. So as you recall in the sketch, we had uh, sketch patterns for features. It's a way to repeat any of these features that you've made. So if it's like a boss or a cut, you could repeat that uh, in different patterns. So it's good for just anything that has any sort of pattern associated with it. Okay, so a lot of times it's like for cutouts or maybe you have something with a lot of uh, bumps as like a pattern, you could do that as well. But here we will just make a little plate here for demonstration. And we're gonna go normal to it and then sketch something. So in here, we're gonna sketch some pattern this will be our uh, weird looking cat. Okay, so here we have our weird looking cat. And then we're gonna make a cut here. So we're gonna extrude cut through all of it. And we could go ahead and come here. You can see inside this pattern, there's actually a lot of different options. You have a linear pattern, a circular pattern, a mirror, curve-driven pattern, a sketch-driven pattern, a table-driven pattern, a fill pattern, and variable pattern. So we'll just go over some of the more common ones, like linear pattern, sketch-driven pattern, and the circular pattern. So here in the linear pattern, you can see that I can specify the direction. And then this is the amount of spacing. So you can see there's too many, so maybe I want to decrease one. And if I hit OK, you can see that it makes a cut of this weird looking cat, right? And I could edit this feature. Maybe I have a second direction. So I could select this edge here and increase the number of instances and the spacing. So you can see I have a pattern like this. And you could also do other things. So I'm going to delete this pattern for now. And maybe you have some sort of uh, circular pattern. So to do that, we need some sort of axis or point of rotation. So here in my sketch, or actually because I have my origin here, I could create an axis with my origin and the top plane. So this is my axis of rotation. Then in here, what I can do is I can try to um, have my feature have a circular pattern around that axis, right? So um, here are the features. I need to select this feature. And you can see that it's going to repeat, right? So notice it's like coming out. Um, you could make this sketch a little bit closer just by dragging it then you can see that you know, now it fits inside. You could also have made the plate bigger, but I just chose to bring it inside. So that's for the circular pattern. And then sometimes your pattern may be irregular. So that's where the sketch-driven pattern might come in handy. So for the sketch-driven pattern, uh, what it, it'll require is points that will specify the location of it. So I could go ahead and go to sketch driven pattern here, and then you could select the point. Um, here you can see select a point inside my sketch, reference point. I could have a centroid, maybe like origin, features and faces. Okay, so. Here you can see my sketch that I generated earlier and then the cut that I have. So it's going to be replicating in this specific pattern for me. So that's the sketch driven pattern. And then the other cases is you could have like a table driven one. If you could, you know, like a specific location, you could fill that out. Um, but you could go ahead and play with that. But I think in terms of the main concepts, that should get you started to create patterns in your um, models. 
So here we did it for extrude cut, right? You could extend that application to if you had bosses instead of cuts. So uh, the same concept applies. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.